Hi everybody, it's Mama D, and welcome back to my channel, Mama D's Middle-Aged Mayhem. So today we're going to talk about hobbies that will help decrease your stress. Because we know that there is a lot of stress in every age of life, but middle age does have its special stressors. One is illness, and right now <coughs> I have been sick for the last six weeks with a really bad upper respiratory uh, infection. Uh, they thought it was pneumonia, but it's not, thank God. So I'm on my second round of antibiotics and my third round of steroids. So I'm going to try and do this without coughing and say a little prayer. Thank you, Lord, to help me get through it. But anyway, the hobbies that I picked are, um, may seem kind of girly, but, you know, there's other hobbies that men, you know, may like too, like hunting or, uh, you know, going and playing cards with their buddies or fishing or something like that. Um, these, when you read them off, they do sound kind of, uh, kind of girly, but I thought they were ones that I enjoyed, so I wanted to share them with you. So the first one is knitting. And according to Shape Magazine, a hobby like knitting can reduce your blood pressure while at the same time engaging your mind. As far as calming influences go, it doesn't get more serene than knitting. According to Tree Hugger, the repetitive motion of knitting helps keep blood pressure low. Plus, if you're trying to quit something like smoking or snacking, it's a great way to keep your hands busy. And I put a link down at the bottom. Uh, I've got the, the notes in the, uh, below um, the video, and there's a link to the article uh, in Shape Magazine if you'd like to read it. The second hobby is coloring. And evidently, there is an adult coloring craze, if you didn't know. And, and I was aware of that, but I did buy uh, some colors and some books. And I'm going to show you what I bought. And this was Faith, Colors of Faith. And it's all different kinds of pictures, obviously, of things of faith. So stained glass windows. Um, and then I bought some uh, color pens. And I just sit there sometimes in the evening, and I will color uh, these pictures. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not color by numbers. It's totally what I want to, you know, whatever colors I want to do. And I really find it very um, soothing. And then, um, you know, I've never decided, oh, I'm going to frame these or anything like that. But, um, you know, especially these little ones here with the very, you know, intricate uh, patterns on them. They really take time. And, um, oh, I like this one, I think, the best with the cross. So these are things, you know, you can pick these up anywhere. I found this book actually in the gift shop at Missouri Baptist Hospital, one of the... Um, places where I go to get my um, medication refilled and I happened to go to the gift shop one day and this was in the gift shop and then I just bought a pack of markers and I've you know like I said I sit there in the evening sometimes be watching tv or whatever and I'll color and you know at first I thought well this is kind of childish but then I started reading up on it and realized that this is kind of a like I said this is adult coloring craze is going on so it's very calming and comforting, and I also paint, uh, and I have been painting since I was in high school in art class, but I took a long, long, long break. And so for Christmas last year, I had my husband order me a set of paints. And so I ordered this acrylic paint set off of Amazon.com, and I'll be putting the link down there for that. It's 24 um, uh, different colors. And so, <clears throat> I have never painted by numbers. I'm kind of a freehander. And then I've been working on this for the last couple months. And I'm not finished yet, but um, it's just kind of a field of flowers. I love sunflowers. I love any kind of flowers, really. So that's what I've been working on. Um, and when I get free time, which like I said, I don't have a lot of it, but... Um, I need to force myself to, to have free time. Um, and then paint by numbers. <coughs> so if you're not talented and you don't have, you know, the ability to freehand paint, no problem. Get the color by numbers. It'll tell you exactly how to do it. And, you know, 
that kind of helps as well um, um, take stress out of you because you don't have to worry about having to design something. The design is already there. It gives you the colors. And uh, it can be a very, you know, relaxing thing as well. Um, now, this is a guy thing to me. Building models. My brother used to do that a little bit. Um, that is a very tedious thing. You have to be good with your hands. And uh, you don't necessarily <coughs> <coughs> have to, um, um, you know, complete the project right away. It's something you can do you know, piece by piece, but, uh, you definitely have to like that and you really do immerse yourself in that. Um, but it is satisfying to a lot of people and you might also learn a thing or two about mechanics along the way, depending on how sophisticated your model is. <coughs> Another one is needlepoint. I've done that before. Needlepoint has a little pattern in it. So you just pull the straw, you know, the, the uh, uh, thread through and, um, it's part of the handiwork family, uh, like knitting and quilting. Um, as the University of Kentucky points out in another article, doing needlework can improve concentration and even your math skills as you figure out which stitches go where. So I didn't know it. Uh, another hobby for uh, stress relief is jigsaw puzzles. Using your brain to figure out everything from sorting straight edges, the pieces, the, um, what colors, what goes with what, your memory. Because you have to remember, oh, that's over here. This is over there. Um, and teamwork, if you get, you know, the kids together with you to do it. So it's a, um, it can be a very stress-relieving hobby. <clears throat> now, this one is definitely, now I shouldn't say this. That would be stereotyping. Baking seems to be something. There's a lot of, you know, male chefs and cooks. So that's not, I shouldn't even say that's a girly thing. But baking is something that um, the precise nature of it, exactly is what exactly makes it a, a smart hobby and a stress reliever <coughs> very therapeutic something calms the mind and provides you with a satisfaction at the end because you get to eat your or sell your or whatever you do with your give it away you know if you're doing a cookie thing for christmas so baking is another hobby now the last one that i chose is personally my very favorite hobby excuse me, and that is photography. I've been a picture taker forever. Uh, I love my iPhone. I've got an iPhone 8. I uh, love it. The camera is amazing. You really don't need a fancy camera if you got an iPhone or any of these smartphones <coughs> nowadays. <coughs> but being able to spot, you know, a good shot or, you know, colors or whatever, you have to, you have to kind of have an eye for that and I feel like I do so much so that I started my own business a couple months ago called pink girl pictures and I've got the website uh, underneath below but um, for years I either used my iPhone or a Canon camera that my husband got me years ago excuse me and um, they say developing pictures is calming too but I don't have anywhere for a dark room to do that. I'm not interested in that. I will go to, you know, one of the local places and <coughs> get my, get my um, pictures developed. No problem. I have no problem with it. But this is my camera, and this is my tripod that I bought. And this is a Canon. Um, sorry, this is a Nikon Coolpix B500. And uh, really easy to use. And I bought this tripod. And I've got the links to the tripod, I've got the links to the camera, I've got the links to the paint that I bought, and those are all on uh, uh, underneath below the video. So if you want to go to Amazon and check out the camera <coughs> and the tripod or the paint or the canvases, all the links are down there below. But just show you a couple of the pictures that I took. This is one of the bridge that's by our house. <coughs> excuse me for coughing I am so sorry um and I had it put on a canvas so these are really cool because you can hang them they're they're block they look like a block almost but it covers it's wrapped around the canvas I love these so I'm going to be making several of these and having them at my vendor fairs to sell I love these um and they come in just about every size these are 12 by 12s 
<coughs> excuse me, this is my favorite picture. This was one morning here in St. Peter's, Missouri. I went outside, or I went to the window to making coffee, got my water going to fill my thing, my Keurig, and I looked out the window and this was the sky. So I said, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. So I ran, got my slippers on, ran outside to the backyard and took these pictures. And I mean, these colors are just brilliant. Purple, yellow, uh, orange. And this is just my tr uh, tree that's in my backyard. Isn't that beautiful? Um, and then they also, you can get your prints put on tin. And this is a print from that's put on wood. This was uh, one day, a couple months ago, before it got really cold when I went to a um, uh, local, uh, excuse me, to a local um, park by our house. It's called Creevecore Park, and they're known for the deers. <coughs> and so I hadn't got out of the car maybe five minutes and walked towards the trail, and here were a, a deer and a mama deer. And so I've got a video of them traipsing along, you know, but I had this one put on wood. So, um, I'm going to have these to sell at my vendor fairs. I'm going to have a lot more by the time um, I'm doing a business women, a women's business expo in July. So I hope to have a whole lot of those um, uh, created by then to sell. But, um, yeah, and there's plenty more hobbies that you can find to reduce stress, uh, meditation, yoga. Um, you know, there's so many, there's too many to even count. But photography is my thing and art. And, um, it's very peaceful to me and very calming, and I just I just love it. So I'm also, um, like I said, I started my own business at pinkgirlpictures.com, and you're welcome to go there and look at some of the um, pictures that I've got up there for display, and it also has my um, pricing, which I'm very, 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 very cheap compared to others because I'm just getting started. I don't feel comfortable charging a lot of money to people, especially my friends and family. But you can go on there and um, see what the packages are, see how much, you know, if you want a picture's taken and you want them put on wood or canvas or tin or whatever, I can get that done for you as well. So um, please go to my website and check it out. And I will see you at the next video. Have a great day. Bye.